French, Montiano Mendoza, Mr. D. Snyder, and the families of AJ Piro and Eddie Ojeda, who's not here with us this evening. Who wants to buy first? We're going to first hear from the Piro and the Ojeda family. This is AJ Piro's daughter, everybody. to us, to my beautiful wife Clara for all the years of support and being a badass woman doing it with class, to my children Michelle, that's me, Christopher who's looking down on us, RIP I miss you, Steven, Francesco, Ashley, my grandson Levi, to my bandmates D, JJ, Mark, and AJ Piro, the sound of thunder. We did this together. It's been a long, hard road to ride, and a true honor to be on this journey throughout all these years as bandmates and friends. To our crew, Danny Stanton, Keith Robert, Dwayne Lazada, Johnny, Memphis, Rick, our sound men, George Marshall. We think of you, we love you every day. To Mike Portnoy for being such a special asset to us on our final stretch of touring. We know you made AJ proud. To my Latino brother, Rudy Sarzo, and his wife, Rebecca, your friendship and advice through the years has been an immense support to me. And most importantly, to all the SMFs around the world who have showed up and showed up over the last 40 years. We could not have done it without you. This is for the Bronx, baby! and we're brothers in a great band. So we agreed to do this, and I hope you all are going to enjoy this because I know you will. Who knows? We got, to, we got to say, never say never. Anyway, tonight I'm honored to not only get this amazing award, I want to thank the Academy for this award. <laughs> I'm not only honored to get this great award, but I'm going to stand on the stage for Dee Snyder, JJ French, and Mike Portnoy, and I also want to thank Keith Moore for playing Standing In for Eddie O'Jada tonight. He's a great friend and a great guitar player. But tonight is something really special, and it means a lot to me, a real lot to me, because I get to do one more time what I'd love to do. Everybody else who is responsible for putting this on, I thank you and we thank you. But the one thing I wanted to say is, it wouldn't be possible if all you SMFs didn't love us. Okay? So, right here, thank you all for being here tonight. 
tonight. Yeah. Enjoy it. Mr. Eddie Trump, very long history, Mr. Eddie Trump. So people here tonight really quick. You know, people ask me if I'm a Lord and Savior. I do. His name is Phil Carson, ladies and gentlemen. He's the guy that signed us and plucked us off of Long Island, took us out of that community and made us where we are. Mr. Phil Carson back there, stand up, take a bow, whatever we are, you will be done. Thank you, Phil. Also, I have to say personally, I have a friend of mine named David Schiff who's here tonight. David shifted and taken to Bermuda, and situations happened in Bermuda that's just too long to get into. But it was through people I met in Bermuda that got me the audition for the band. Jane Twisted Sister. That's why Twisted Sister happened. And by the way, which is really interesting is that was 15 years ago this month that this band was fucking created. Now, that basically means that that movie that you're seeing is a documentary on Twisted Sister called 1883. No, I'm sorry, that's just a documentary. Anyway, the fact is that on my first audition day with Twisted Sister, the singer at the time, the first singer, said to me, you know, we're a band that does Bowie, we do Marie, we do Mother Hoople, we do T-Rex, do you sing? And I said, no, I don't. He said, good, you can do the Lou Reed songs. <laughs> and that is why I do Lou Reed. Now, two things, two things I want to say. Young bands come to me all the time, and they say, hey, JJ. I want you to see my band. And I go, how long has your band been together? And they go, oh man, two years. How many shows have you done? We've done 50 shows. I say, you did 50 shows in two years, really? When you get to 500, call me and I'll see you. Why 500? Because you'll suck until you hit about 500 shows, and I don't have time to see you. And the guy goes, really? How many shows have you done? I said, well, asshole, the answer to that question is really simple. The first 30 months of our career, the first 30 months, we did 3,450, 45 minutes Okay, now. D comes in, Eddie comes in, Mark comes in, we do another 4,000. So at the time we got signed to Atlantic Records, we're at 75 fucking hundred shows. That's how you do it. That's exactly why this man is up here. That's exactly why you do it. And this is the last thing I'm going to say. Besides dedicating this to you and to my family and friends and all the people that stood behind us, I was thinking of one story I could tell that really can exemplify it. Now, for most of you musicians out there who watch Spinal Tap, you know that Spinal Tap affects all of our lives. Especially us, because we had seven drummers, six of them spontaneously combusted. I can tell you that right now. But this is it, okay? We did our first tour to support Can't Stop Rock and Roll, which, by the way, we started recording 40 years ago next week. We did a 12-city tour in England. We're going from Sheffield to Leeds to Liverpool to Manchester to Birmingham, blah, blah, blah. And in every one of those shows, this one particular kid, they were all the people came to record signings, this one fat kid kept following us around. And he was a really obnoxious, twisted sister fan. Fat kid, he kept following us around. Every time we did an in-store, this fat kid would show up, and people say, this kid's obnoxious, he's in everybody's face. Every city that fat kid shows up, we finally get to London for the last show at the Lyceum after being on top of the pops because we have a hit record, I Am, I Me. Yeah. We get to the HMV in Marble Arch and there's nobody standing outside. Like, I went, oh shit, maybe they're inside. It's a big store. Well, if you watch Spinal Tap, remember that scene with Paul Schaefer when he fucked up the whole in store? And he goes, kick my ass, kick my ass. I fucked up. Well, this promotion guy fucked up. Nobody showed up, but then that fat kid, that fat kid walks in the back door. I was never so fucking happy to see that fat kid. And he's walking towards us. And as he's walking towards us, three people walk up to us. We're all behind the counter with Sharpies. And three people have three albums, and they think we're fucking salesmen. They got a Flock of Seagulls record, they got a Culture Club record, they got a Spandau Ballet record, and they want us to check out. And that kid said, they're not cashiers, they're Twisted fucking Sister! So to that fat kid, who's now 55 to 60 years old, this award is dedicated to you. Because you are not, and we are not cashiers. We are Twisted fucking Sister! I know I don't want to talk on stage. So, first of all, thanks to uh, Mike, 
and Steve, because you guys represent the portion of people who know what Twisted Sister represents. You're from the Northeast, and you know all the bands we influence, from Bon Jovi to Overkill to Anthrax to fucking uh, Cinderella, Kicks. Every fucking band in the Northeast came to see Twisted Fucker Sister. Chuck D from Public Enemy said, there would be no Public Enemy if not the Twisted Sister, because he came to see us, and that's where he got his rebellious fuck you attitude. You're welcome. You're welcome. So thank you guys for representing those people out there. And I want to thank Keith Robert, I don't know what other name that was we were using, who's filling in for Eddie O'Shea tonight, because Eddie did the right thing and stayed home with his wife, who was also sick. So thanks, Keith. We'll see you out here in a second. Uh, I want to thank my band, all right? These guys. Mark Animal Mendoza. JJ French. The late Agent Piero. Eddie Fingers Ojeda, represented right here. We were together for 10 fucking years before we made it. And if you came to me, if God, if remember that guy who he's thinking, God came to me and said, Dean, all your rock and roll dreams are gonna come true. Everything you ever wanted in life is gonna come to you, but it's gonna take 10 years. I would have said, you know what, I'll do something else. <laughs> <laughs> fucking 10 years, I could've been a fucking doctor. All right, so, but 10 years, it all happened, and that's because these guys fought with me, shoulder to fucking shoulder, night after night after night, and we would not ever take no for an answer.